Hello, today we will talk about bipolar, return to zero and non-return to zero. Bipolar is a zero no pulse and one alternative pulse between one and minus one. If it's non-return to zero, it's equal weight. It's if return to zero, so we have we have a half weight. First of all, we have a random integer generator. And uh, this flip flop, it's we. If you see, we always use flip flop to have alternating signal because this flip flop is a memory to save less one if it's plus one or minus one. And if it's, we see here one connected to not here and pulse generator with half weights 15% and 0 0.1 period connected to the clock. The input of this flip flop is the output of the XOR and the output of this to XOR with the random integer. If you see here, this is the signal or this is the Q output of the flip flop and this what we have when XOR it is a signal. What we see here 1 minus 1 1 or 1 0 1 1 0 1. So this part is a delay so this is what we do the flip flop delay one period when we multiply f by two we have this value zero one two and when we sub, uh, sub add add to minus one we have value between one and minus one and we don't know the zero so we pro uh, multiply f by the signal this random integer to have a bipolar non return to zero. One minus one, one minus one, zero, one minus one, one minus one, etc. If we want to have a bipolar return to zero, we only product this output by a pulse width with help width, pulse width period 15% and 0 0.1 period. So we have this bipolar run return to zero. A help width between 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 1, 0, minus 1, 0, and 0, red 0. Thank you for watching. I hope you will learn from my tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you.